Welcome back. First, I think we're on video four now of our Lab 2020 series. The first lab was setting up a 2019 server and making a domain controller. The second lab was creating a Windows 10 machine and have it join a domain and be able to use it. The third lab was the file server set up with the disk quotas and setting up a share for home drives. Now the fourth lab, we are going to join a domain from a Mac. So now we have a Mac. We want to go to System Preferences. The very the first thing you want to do on your Mac is make sure you have the DNS to talk to the domain controller. So we want to we have an IP address coming from our DHCP server, which is giving this and our DNS servers. I have already gone in and done this, so we want to go to DNS and you want to manually put in this address if your DHCP server is not giving it out. In in our case, it's a router. So I had to manually put that in. That is the IP address of the DNS server I set up on the DC2020. Click OK. Once you've confirmed that that's good, you now go back to the Apple, System Preferences, Users and Groups. Just type in your password on your Mac, your MacBook or your Mac. Login options, join. Now we want to type in the server. And now it wants to know the computer ID. So let's call this computer Mac Hi Sierra. That's your path, your account to get to the domain controller. and we will click OK. Now, what we're doing here is we're not actually joining the domain, we're binding to the domain. In Mac speak, they call it binding, Windows calls it joining. So let's click OK. It's now talking to AD. Let's go to the Active Directory server and just refresh here. Go back to the, still talking to it. There you go, so it's done. Let's go back here, refresh. And now we have a MacBook or a Mac on the Windows 10 domain, oh, sorry, the Windows 19, 2019 domain. So let's go here now and let's go to the edit, the, the account server, open directory, Type in your password again. This is for the MacBook or the Mac. Click the pencil and we want to go to show options. What we want to do is uncheck UNC for now, just to leave it as that. We're going to force any user logging into the domain to create a local profile. We don't want to use the map drives or anything yet. And let's click OK. So let's go here, close that. Now, you don't have to, but I always re we root just to make sure everything's fine. So we go back to our domain controller. We see that Mac High Sierra. It says it's a workstation or server. Now, if you want to put here, you could say MacBook One, whatever you want to call it. It even sees it as Mac OS. This is just basic install and setup. Let's go back to our Mac. It's booting up. This is why I have my labs. <laughs> so what we'll do now is we'll try and use any of these users we've set up before. I've also set up a Mac user one. Just double check the password on this one. There you go. So we have a user one, two, three, four, five. Let's go to Hi Sierra. Now, I don't want to log in as this user. So I'm going to hit Escape. Right? It's not showing the domain users. So when I click on this user, let's try 
Okay. So I'm going to log on as a user. Log out. Let's confirm the binding. Let's go back to system preferences, users. Login options, edit, copy guy, type in password. Active Directory, let's do the edit. Now see how we're binded? Let's show options. Okay, let's go to Administrative and allow administration by and click OK. Let's close this and let's go back out. There you go. So we have, now have an other. Now in order to log in, we need to type the domain name, so we know it's going to be from the domain. And type user, let's try user2. Now user2, because it has an account on the domain, it's now logged in. It's creating a local profile, just like you do on any machine. And let's log off. Let's try So we're logging on and also all the domain users to be able to get on here. Now let's take a look and see what this does. If you're not a Mac user, this probably doesn't have any, any, uh, anything you want to do. As you see, there's a Compu guy, right? I've I've logged on previously as Compu guy. One, two, and four. So number four. There's my files, documents, downloads on my machine. Two, I, I can't get into them because they belong to the other user, which is all about the domain policy. Now, the CompuGuy user is the one that's on the machine. That's the original local machine account. So I can't get into any folders other than my own, which makes sense. So I'm a domain user. I have no accounts on this machine other than the ones created. Let's go here to prove it. The only account I have here is CompuGuy. That's it. All the other accounts don't exist. Right? User 4 is on here now, but it's a it's a domain user. So now I can log on this Mac with any user as long as I have a password on this server. So that's how you create a binded Mac to Active Directory. And once again, we join a domain with a, a Windows machine. We bind to the domain using a Mac. So there's more functions, of course, you want to still work with. Now, if we want to un, if we want to disjoin it, which means remove it from the domain, watch this. So there's the Mac High Sierra. Let's say now we decide, you know what, we don't want the Mac anymore. We just go here to remove. We're going to use the account we set up from the Windows domain, and we say unbind. There you go, done. And now when we go back to the domain controller. We refresh, the Mac is gone. So that's it, on and off. 
we go here to the disk and users those ones will they're just left behind because they were able to log on now let's try and log off let's try and log in as user 3 since we've not been on see how it doesn't let you in now so that's it that's all you have to do to set up a Mac on the domain now I use High Sierra this would apply to the Mojave Catalina El Capitan Yosemite Mavericks and Sierra so hope you enjoyed the video uh, please like subscribe uh, comment below anything you want to see in the next videos I'm hoping to either set up a Linux machine uh, Ubuntu Ubuntu <laughs> um, or maybe a different version and we'll see if we can join that to the main too just so you saw how it's done so again thanks for watching we'll see you next time